Good day everyone. In this video, we will see how we can control a simple tank uh, in lab view. Like if I run this program right now, as you can see, the level is increasing and right now uh, when it reaches the 90, then it starts decreasing. So as soon as it will reach 10, then it will again start to increase unless I stop so how to make this program so let's just close it and let's just start doing again in the new vi so let's just place a tank in here change its upper limit to 100 and then what the next thing is go on to the block diagram and then we have a while loop around it and then we are gonna place a flat sequence actually there are four methods that I'm gonna explain in it in this video so the very first one is using uh, the flat sequence basically so in this flat sequence we have two while loops and one tank in which we can just control the input level uh, timing like what time is the input and Similarly, we can change the output time, which means the drain time. So, so for the input purposes, I am using as one for the input for the 200 milliseconds. Right now, the tank will be filled uh, with the delay of 200 milliseconds by one. So it means that every 200 milliseconds, the tank will increase by one and uh, it's it will start from zero so this is the initialization at on the left side of the shift register it means that we are starting from zero every time the loop will iterate and it the starting of the loop will be from zero and similarly i will create its property node named as value as you can see i have created and subtract it minus two so change it to control so i change it to right and now i will connect it with my uh, property node named as value so that every time the loop iterates these two property nodes will act like it will subtract two and then the next iteration again these will subtract two unless it goes less than 10 so i will place a while loop around this whole flat sequence and then we have a stop button so now as you can see i have made a copy of my time control uh, delay palette and now the delay for both is 200 milliseconds to 100 milliseconds so as you can see as i run my program the level is increasing and uh, it is increasing right now by one so as soon as it reaches 90 as you can see uh, it start decreasing but the decreasing level is higher than the increasing since as you can see if i show it on digital display as you can see the increasing level is right now by one while the decreasing level is by two it means that the increasing will be slow and the decreasing will be the decreasing rate will be higher so right now the increasing level will be three and decreasing level will be two or five which means that again the increasing level will be slow but the decreasing level will be very fast so that's how we can make a tank control uh, using the flat sequence but one problem in this flat sequence is we cannot just press stop button to stop this vr this is basically the main problem right now 
so as you can see if I press stop button flat, flat sequence doesn't allow me to stop the program so what we're gonna do is we are gonna use another method so let's just delete this out the whole structure and let's just start from the beginning so again please a case structure this is the second method to control the uh, tank uh, these are all my logics maybe you will find out something better so I'm gonna use this as my second logic so in this method I'm gonna again place a tank and change its value to 100 and create its digital display and now in this method the controlling parameter will be basically an LED so you can replace the tank or anything with the thermometer or the fill slider or anything basically the controlling parameter here will be the LED so LED we are gonna control the LED and the LED then again will decide either to fill or, or drain the tank basically so create again a property node named as value place it inside the other case structure change it to write and create a constant of true so here are the two case structure in which one is true the other case is empty and similarly the other case structure we have in which we have placed the property node and its other case is false case again is empty and here we have created the two conditions that we need that if it goes above 90 degree or below 90 degree, below sorry below 10 below 10 um, level below 10 um, level of the 10 percent of the tank so now what I will do is I will use add function and similarly the subtract function so that to increase the level or decrease the level of the tank so here I'm gonna connect it with some let's just say create its uh, property node named as value again and here I will use a case selector in which the boolean basically will decide either it is gonna be filling the tank or removing the tank here i am creating a constant of two which means that it is gonna fill two percent every iteration and similarly here i am creating a constant of three which means that it will drain every uh, drain three percent every iteration so the dependency is again the same that if it is goes above 90 degree then it starts draining and if it is goes less than 10 then it starts increasing the level of the tank so here i will connect with the conditions and here i will connect with the, my case structures so and now the last thing is to create a basically delay function in it and but right now you cannot control the delay function of increasing and decreasing the tank it will be the same for both of them so but we can change one thing which is here I have forgotten the main point which is connecting with the tank so as you can see in here the increasing level is something different and uh, but the decreasing rate is little bit slower which means that the increasing rate is right now 2 but the decreasing rate was 3 so so in third method we are gonna again control our tank but this time we will control it by using a uh, button which means that whenever we will press the button then it will gonna increase or decrease the level of the tank but first we will change its um, mechanical action to uh, press uh, sorry uh, fill with press and then again we will change its properties as you can see multiple text on it so and change its color as well like 
filling will be on and off will be red so as you can see if right now I have a button and a tank right here so I will create a loop around it and set its condition again so in case selector will be the basically select that either it is gonna fill or either it is gonna drain so again the same method the addition function and the subtract function which is which means that again uh, each iteration will if we have pressed the button each iteration will increase it by two or replace with shift register and connect it with the addition and similarly connect it with the subtract functions which means that each time if we press the ok button then it will increase the level by two percent and if we do not press which means in the close form or off form of the button it will decrease the level of the tank by three percent which means that the percentage of uh, draining is higher than its filling so create a digital display in here and run this program as you can see there is a major problem right now since we have run the button and our button condition is right now draining so it starts going from below zero which we do not want it basically so we have to set the condition that it should not go below zero and should not go above 90 so what we are going to do is to use in range function that you can see i have placed in here create a constant of let's say 90 and similarly create a constant of 10 which means that it should not go below 10 or above 90 so use a case selector in here which will show that if it is within this range then we are gonna do is if it is inside of this range then this addition or subtraction will work if it is not within this limit ie 10 or 90 then the last value will be gone to our tank so this is the condition right now but in this condition we have to set our initial value to something greater than um, 10 or say 10 so right now if I run my program as you can see in here it starts from 7 uh, so if I press on filling then it starts fill and stops on 90 since our condition is filling so if I press on draining it stops on 7 why it stops on 7 basically so as you can see in here 10 minus 3 is equals to 7 so it goes it is not in the range so 10 minus 3 will happen and it stops again to 7 so that's how you can create a um, tank control with some button basically now we will see how to create a third uh, uh, fourth method basically how to control the tank uh, by using some input and defining the input and output of the tank basically so it means that we are gonna decide at what rate it should fill and at what rate it should drain create its digital display that should so that it will be more clearly visible to you and similarly we can create a dial which shows its drain percentage and i can write drain in here and create its digital display also so if we go on to our block diagram again we will place a while loop around it and then what we have in here is 
using addition function and this is gonna be very simple so to connect it with our addition function and connect it with our loop and change it to shift register create a constant of zero so that uh, the loop iteration will be start from loop basically the number will be start from zero and similarly we can insert a subtract function and subtract it using drain connect it with the tank and uh, again create a control and a timing palette with uh, microsecond which means milliseconds so that it means that 300 milliseconds is the delay right now so if I run my program as you can see if I change my fill then it is start gonna filling and similarly it is if we change the drain then if whatever the value increases in the particular direction it will gonna move so that it means that either it is gonna fill or drain but again the same problem is it is gonna go below zero since we do not want it to go below zero so again we will implement the same logic that we have implemented in our previous case so what we are gonna do is we are gonna use a case selector again so connect it with a case selector and implement in range function so again if we have in range of let's say 90 and 0 then only what is gonna do is If we are in the range of 0 to 90 then it should our subtract or addition function should work and if it is not in the range of 0 to 90 then our previous value which means that whatsoever it value was it is will be in that range so if we decrease the drain value then our fill value is higher as you can see so it goes 82 so it means that whatever if we add 10 right now then it will be gonna go above 90 so that is not allowed in the function or in the program so that's how you can 